Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I am showing you some of my top 5 basketball plays for centers. So hello everyone, welcome to Basketball Coach Allen. If you're new to this channel, on this channel I show you basketball plays, drills, and skills. So if you like that stuff, hit the like button and subscribe. But anyways, today I am going to show you some of my top 5 basketball plays for centers. So let's get down to the clipboard and let's check these basketball plays out. So first in this Horns basketball play, what we're looking to do, well, first of all, a center is the biggest guy in the court. So an easy way for them to score is to get players to basically switch off so that now there's a mismatch, a tall player getting guarded by a shorter player. So what we're going to have first is having player five and player four screening down for three and two. This is, of course, against a man-to-man -man defense. We're going to have players, both of these players screening up for player one, the point guard. And we want the center, which is player number five, to go and post up. So we really want player two to be used as the screen. Now, player two, after he's being used for the screen, player one could pass the player five to the low post. That's what we really hope for. But we will now have players 2, 3, and 1 setting a triple screen for player 4 to be the outlet pass for player 5. If player 5 is unable to score in the post, he can pass out to 4 who should be open for the 3 point shot. Now as this is against a man to man defense, let's pull on the defense and let's see how they run. So we here we have the man-to-man -man defense and what we're going to have again is players five and four setting a screen down for players two and player three now player one is going to use that screen let's say player two fought through and same as player three now player five is in that post and we're going to have player one pass down to player one now we're going to have player four popping out, player three setting a screen, player one and player two setting screens for player four. And now player four will get open for the three. Of course, player five is getting the assist there. Or player five could post up his man, isolation in and score. So here we have the high 1-4 basketball play. We're going to have players three and two screening down. For players 4 and 5, 4 and 5 are going to use that screen. And because player 5 is the biggest player on the court, he is the center, we're going to have player 1 pass player 5 the ball. Now this is a play against a team that has a not so mobile center while your center is a little bit more mobile. So you can have your players clear out and your biggest player is maybe hopefully the fastest biggest player on the court is going one on one against the other team's bigger slower center. Now let's run this against a man to man defense and let's check this out. So we're going to have players three and players two to set a screen down. Both four and five are going to pop out. Player one is going to pass player five the ball. And now we're going to have player three rolling out to the far side. We're going to have player two rolling out as well. And now it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one isolation. So what you really want your center to do is attack the defensive center while he's still trying to clean or clear out. If, however, player five does not go up and guard out at the three-point line and your player five is able to take that shot, go right ahead and take that shot. So now in our third basketball play, what we are going to be running is having player one pass the ball out to player two. We're gonna have player one go and screen for player four. Player four is going to go and fill player one spot. And at this time, we're gonna have player two pass to four and four is going to pass to player one. Player three at this time, when the ball is in this area, actually more, more in the lines of those two players, three is going to set a screen for player five so that when player one gets the ball, player one, five is going to go use that screen, get to that low post, player three is going to clear out. 
and this is if that was a switch that's perfect if not player five is still going one on one close to the basket so here we have player one passing to two again this is just against the man-to-man -man defense that we were going against before and we're going to have player one screen away that's going to bring player four over let's call that a switch and now we're going to have player three setting a screen down for player five one is going to pop out this is going to be a swing and a post up and now this is going to be an isolation in the post a quick hook shot there will get you a nice quick easy basket now in our fourth play we're going to run against a 2-3 zone defense here we have the double team up top with the two and then we're going to have our three players right there on defense because most likely against a 1-4 they will be playing a bit higher so what we're going to have is player three cutting up to about the 45 degree line from the key and that's when player one is going to pass player three the ball now what we're going to have is player three dribbling taking one dribble down which is going to bring player three red up and guard him and at this time we're going to have player four pinning player five especially if he's playing in the middle of the key player five is going to be cutting down if player four five red is cutting or playing a little bit lower that's fine too have player five cut along this side try and get him the ball here now if player five was playing a little bit higher let player five blue gets a little bit lower and that way he can get a nice easy shot as well now i'm going to show you the fifth basketball play for centers and that is going to be against a 3-2 zone now against a 2-3 or a 3-2 zone sorry the low post is a huge weak area and let me show you what i mean so we can have player four set a screen on player five and we're going to have player five blue cut up to that elbow there. This is when player one could pass the three or one could just pass straight to player five, which is going to bring the defense in the middle up to him. Now player four could either get on the other side of player five and this could be a, a post to post pass. Or what could happen is that could bring player one red in, which could now allow player five to pass out to player one for a shot. Or the other thing that could happen is now with player five cutting up, he is now open in a nice wide open area in the middle of the key for a nice quick jump shot. Now these are five quick easy plays that you can run with your team. I would run these at like really any age group. These are pretty simple basketball plays that you can run. A three against a man to man, one against a three two, and another one against a two three zone. I hope that these are simple enough for you to run on even the youngest of teams at the grade four or five level. And eventually in the next couple of weeks, I will be running these uh, different or different plays for centers at the more advanced stage so come back for those if you like that stuff hit that subscribe button because then that way you'll get notified when I post new videos and by the way I post new videos every single day so I'll see you guys again tomorrow hello basketball coaches so yes this is a quick few second advertisement basically I just want to let you guys know that I have another channel called Football Coach Allen. I go over football plays. I am starting to add more and more plays on there. So if you are a football coach as well as a basketball coach, go check that out. You can see it in the link in the description below, but you can also see it as my other channels on the right side of my main YouTube channel, Basketball Coach Allen. So I will see you guys over there, hopefully. Hello, so if you have liked this video, click over here to subscribe or maybe over here, depending on which side I put it on. I don't know yet. Anyways, uh, also the opposite direction or the opposite side is another video you may like. So I hope to see you again in one of those next videos. Yeah.